Hey everybody, this is Adam, and let's see if I can help you fix your dishwasher. Now, they haven't changed much in the past few decades, so even if you have an old one or a different brand than the one I'm fixing, it doesn't really matter because they're often built exactly the same and even using the same parts. What you find in mine will probably look a lot like what you find in yours. Now, before you take apart your dishwasher, you're going to want to look inside your garbage disposal and see if the pipe is clogged. Now, there's a little hole inside. It's kind of nasty. Or you can unscrew the pipe that's attached to it under your sink. Now, that pipe leads to your dishwasher. If that's clogged with food or clogged with something, then the water's not going to be able to leave your dishwasher. And it's going to sit in there. and Or it could just be restricted. That could be a problem, too. So make sure that pipe's clean. Also check your P-trap and make sure there's nothing stuck in there. You'll know if your sink's not draining very well either, so that'll be a sign. If you've done that, then you can start taking apart your dishwasher. Take out the racks. Now the top rack is going to be held in with a clip. This one I have to push in a little lever on the inside, lift it up and out. So there's a clip on the left and on the right. After you remove the clips, the top rack should slide right out. And while you're here, you might want to look at the screws around your door. When these things come loose, and they often do, it can stop your uh, door from closing all the way. Also, if you have a hole in the gasket around your dishwasher, it can leak. So if your dishwasher is leaking on the floor uh, by the door, that might be the problem. Anyway, before you take out any screws, lay a cloth down so that they don't drop down inside. It can be really annoying, and it happens all the time. There's a screw in the back and a screw in the top. If you happen to lose those screws, they're stainless steel, so you're going to want to find stainless steel screws to replace them. The lower sprayer comes out by unscrewing the part in the middle. It pops right off. Now I'm using a T15 bit to take out the four screws. Three of them are visible and one is hiding behind the arm. Your arm should be free to move now. Turn it about 45 degrees and lift up. And it should come right out. Now somewhere there's going to be this little plastic ring. You want to hang on to that. Don't lose it. Now you can access the fourth screw that was hidden before. And the plug should come right out and you should be able to lift out the filter there. And underneath mine, look at that, a label's floating around. This is often happening, there's labels and stickers on plates and cups, especially kids ones. And they can come off and jam parts inside. You have a cover that we're going to take off. It's going to be held on by one screw. And then you can see the blade and the screen. On the bottom of the cover, there's more paper and plastic rammed in corners. So check yours out and clear it out. You want to make sure that all the parts that you put back in have been cleaned. You can spin the blade and make sure that it moves. It's going to be a little stiff but it should be able to spin without feeling like you're going to break anything. There's chunks of uh, plastic and debris. Hopefully you can find the obvious problem here. Hopefully it's there and you can clear it out. Also on the back of the filter, pop it off and clean out the underside. All this crud that gets stuck on your screen slows down the water and will make it so that your dishwasher is not cleaning as effectively. Then place the cover back on. The cover should fit very nicely. It, you shouldn't feel like you have to force it or f shouldn't feel like it's fighting back. If it does, something's misaligned, so take it off and make sure it slips on easily. Then put the filter back on. And before you tighten all the screws, put them in one at a time. That way, if you drop the last one, you don't have to take all three of the others out. And once they're in the holes, just tighten them. Hopefully cleaning and clearing it out fixed your problem. And before you put the plug 
back in, slip on the clear ring, put it in the arm, and insert the arm and give it a 45 degree turn and it should lock in place and put on your lower sprayer arm the nut inside that you tighten it to should be able to spin freely if it doesn't you need to pull it up and loosen it then put in the back screw and the top screw and always use a cloth to catch the screws in case you drop one and slide the racks back in and throw the clips in place. This usually fixes most dishwashers with a draining problem. It's just something's down there inside and the blade can't grind it up. It's just stuck and the water's not going to leave if it's all clogged. Once you clear it out, hopefully it works. If it doesn't, you might have a pump problem or a pump failure, in which case you'd need to pull your dishwasher out. So I really hope this video has helped you. If so, please click like and subscribe and have an awesome day.